It's January 2020 and China has imposed a lockdown following the outbreak of the new virus, COVID-19. The rest of the world is still asleep. Brutal, authoritarian, tyrannical, the Western media cry. Fast forward three years later, January 2023, China relaxes its lockdown, removing almost all social distancing requirements, making domestic and international travel far more convenient. Now the very same Western media denounce China again. There's a word for such fork-tongued fake news narratives, hypocrisy. But hypocrisy is the bread and butter of British and American media when it comes to China. Having caused the deaths of a million Muslims in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Libya, they're shedding crocodile tears for Chinese Muslims whose human rights they continue to lie about, even in the teeth of evidence to the contrary. Who are you going to believe? Me? or the evidence of your own lying eyes. They spread baseless fears about TikTok, Huawei, as supposedly a back door for Chinese intelligence gathering. They've even accused your light bulbs and your refrigerator of spying on you. But thanks to Elon Musk and his Twitter files, we now know that it's American intelligence that's not just coming through your back door, but your front door and every one of your windows, spying on everything you read and write and censoring you if they don't like it. More double standards in Africa, where China is building partnerships and cooperation for development, as it has done for many decades. On the other hand, there's Western colonialism. Just look at one country in particular, Belgium, capital Brussels, nowadays the headquarters of NATO and the European Union. But until 1960, Brussels was the capital of colonialism in Africa. Let's just look at one country, the so-called Belgian Congo, what Joseph Conrad described as the heart of darkness. They mutilated Africans for not meeting their rubber quotas, cutting off their hands, cutting off their penises. Belgian colonialism in just one African country killed 10 million Africans. They criticized China for building airports and highways. Seriously? China is building infrastructure in Africa. The West merely looted the continent. They also criticized China for building military bases, while they still sailed their naval flotillas around Chinese waters. They've even dragooned Japan, imagine, into their anti-China lineup. From COVID to Congo, hypocrisy is the middle name of the West, where, I remind you, just 13% of the people of the world live. It is an empire of lies, its foundations are rotten, its superstructure rickety, its infrastructure crumbling away. As the Beatles might put it, it's so yesterday. The sun is rising in the east, and all the attempts made by the West, big, small, but mostly ridiculous, to paint China as a bogeyman, while the West itself is falling apart, frankly, You'd need a heart of stone not to laugh.